Greenville County that had lots of parents upset wondering why schools didn't close or start later this morning. Here's Evan News is uh, we've received several calls and emails from parents whose children were either stuck on the road or in accidents on their way to school. And they want to know why the Greenville County School District chose not to delay this morning's opening. 7 News is Dave Jordan live at district headquarters with that part of the story. Dave. Well, Fred and Sabila, a lot of the administrators here are hearing from some of the parents we've heard from about why school was not delayed, given what they were facing on the road this morning. And here's a look at some of the video of what our region looked like as many people headed out on their morning commute. You can see black ice was all over the road, specifically in Anderson, Greenville and Pickens counties. Now, as for why there wasn't a two hour delay here in Greenville, Greenville County Schools says all of the local forecasts, as well as the National Weather Service, predicted above freezing temperatures, and administrators had no idea it would be this bad. Take a listen. Nobody was predicting that this would freeze this morning. Um, none of the freezing began really until about 545, 6 o'clock this morning was when we first started getting reports that there was any ice on the roadways and that temperatures had dropped and or dipped. Now that was spokeswoman Beth Brotherton for the Greenville County School District. She did that Facebook live broadcast to address the myriad of parents who had emailed or called or left messages on their system about the road conditions this morning. As she went on to say that about 400 bus drivers and supervisors came to work around 4 o'clock, 4.30 this morning. They did not report any problems on the road. There weren't any concerns about the equipment. And most of the buses were already on the road around 5 o'clock, and the temperatures actually saw it to dip around 530. So it was it wasn't feasible to turn those buses around because at that point in the morning you had students that were already on the road waiting for them. Now we're going to continue to cover this story and speak with one parent who says her children were put in harm's way because of the school district's decision. We'll have that part of the story tonight at five o'clock. We are live outside of school district headquarters in Greenville. Dave Jordan, 7 News. All right, Dave, thank you.